Good day everyone, this is Teacher Koi and welcome to Easy Math Tutorial. And for today's video, we will be discussing the Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 2 Module 1 and our topic is Linear Inequalities into Variables. But before that, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para lagi po kayong updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. And don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page isip ma tutorial and join our facebook group deped teachers files and our learning competencies we have here differentiates linear inequalities into variables from linear in equations into variables number two illustrates and graphs linear inequalities into variables and number three solves problems involving linear inequalities into variables and our objectives at the end of the lesson you're expected to differentiate between linear equations and linear inequalities in two variables illustrate and graph the linear inequalities in two variables on the coordinate plane and solve problems involving linear inequalities in two variables and once again our topic is linear inequalities in two variables for our lesson one we have a difference between linear equation and linear inequalities in two variables so ano po ba yung kaibahan ng linear equation at ng linear inequalities in two variables. So, we have here two columns. For this column, we have here the linear equation. So, linear equation, it is a mathematical sentence which shows that the two quantities have equal values. They have equal values. And the symbol that we use is equal sign. Okay, since linear equation, so two equal values so equal sign and for the other column we have here the linear inequality so it is a mathematical sentence which shows that two quantities have different or unequal value so ibig sabihin not equal okay, that's why we use the signs okay, not equal greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to Okay, so that's for the linear inequality. So going back sa ating linear equation, sa ating first column, we have the examples of linear equation. Okay, 10x plus 4y is equal to 14. Okay, so this is linear equation. So as you can see it here, we use the equal sign. Then second, 5m minus 13n is equal to 12. Okay, this is a linear equation. We use the equal sign. And for the third example, x minus 2y is equal to 5. Okay? And so on. And for the second column, the linear inequality, our examples, we have x plus 3y is less than 10. So as you can see it here, we use the inequality symbol. Okay? Less than. Second example is 2p minus 5r is greater than or equal to 24 okay so yung ginamit natin ay greater than or equal to and the third example is 4b plus 3c is greater than 10 and for the fourth example y minus 7z is not equal okay we use the symbol not equal not equal to 15 and for the last example 3a plus 3b is less than or equal to 8 okay so that's the difference between the two once again our linear equation we use the equal sign and for our linear inequality we use these symbols the not equal greater than less than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to and for our lesson number two graph of a linear inequality into variables so how to graph a linear inequality into variables on our previous topics I think quarter one we learned how to graph the linear equation into variables but for our quarter two and for this lesson we're going to learn how to graph a linear inequality into variables so graph of a linear inequality into variables is the set of all points in the rectangular coordinate system whose ordered pairs satisfy the inequality so, dapat satisfy sa ating inequality since our um, mathematical um, system is inequality. Okay? So, 
as you can see here is our graph we have here the rectangular coordinate system or the cartesian plane if this is the graph of our inequality yung ating plane ay ma divide po siya into two half plane we have the upper half plane and the lower half plane at yung ating line ay tinatawag po natin siya ng plane divider okay so ito po yung nag divide ng ating plane so half plane is the region that is divided when a line is graphed in the coordinate plane so half plane okay then plane divider is the line that separates the cartesian coordinate plane into two half planes so yung ating plane divider o yung line siya po yung nag-separate ng ating cartesian plane into two half planes meron tayong upper half plane at saka lower half plane so we have here the example we have here the steps in graphing an, ine an inequality in two variables replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign so for step one replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign the resulting equation becomes the plane divider so for the example graph the inequality y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 3 so we're going to replace this inequality symbol with equal sign so from y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 3 nagiging y is equal to negative x plus 3 so replace the inequality symbol with equal sign then step two graph the resulting equation with a solid line if the original inequality contains less than or equal to or greater than or equal to symbol so kapag ang ating inequality symbol ay less than or equal to or greater than or equal to solid line po yung ating gagamitin but kung ang ating symbol ay less than or greater than ang ating line ay dash Okay, dash or broken line. Okay, so we have here the graph. This one, the solid line. So, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to yung ating inequality symbol. And the solid line indicates that all points on the line are part of the solution. Okay, and for the dash line or broken line, all points on the line are not part of the solution. Okay, so ibig sabihin kapag dash line or broken line, lahat ng points na andito sa line, part ng broken line, are not part of the solution of the set of the inequality. Okay, sa solid line, lahat ng lines na andun sa line ay part ng solution. Okay, so for step 2, still part of the step 2, to graph the equation y is equal to negative x plus 3, assign some values of x and y. So, since yung ating inequality ay um, nagiging ganito, because we replace the inequality sign with equal sign, so, we're going to graph this one. And, how to graph this one? Diba, nung nakarang lesson natin sa quarter 1, diba, na-discuss natin dun kung paano mag-graph ng linear equation. So, this is now a linear equation since nireplace natin yung inequality sign with equal sign. So, we will going to assign some values of x and y. So, for example, we have here the value of x is equal to 0. Then, substitute sa ating equation and we have also the value of y which is equal to 0. Then, substitute sa ating equation. At ang ating resulting values or resulting ordered pair is if we, if we let x is equal to 0, our order, first ordered pair is 0 and positive 3. So, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to positive 3. And when x, y is equal to 0, our resulting ordered pair is 3 and 0. So, if y is equal to 0, x is positive 3. Okay, then we're going to graph this one into our Cartesian plane. And the result is this one. Solid line. Bakit? Yung ating example ay less than or equal to or greater than or equal to yung symbol. So, ito na po yung graph natin. And then, choose three points in one of the half planes that are not on the line. So, this is for step three. Substitute the coordinates of these points into the inequality. If the coordinates of these points satisfy the inequality or make the inequality true, shade the half plane or the region on one side of the plane divider where these points lie. Otherwise, other side of the plane divider will be shaded. So, ibig sabihin nito, pipili po tayo ng tatlong points. Either sa upper half plane or sa lower half plane. Okay, then we're going to substitute that one sa ating 
equation. And if it satisfies the equation, ibig sabihin, that points, or yung, yung mga points na to ay solution ng ating inequality. So, for example, we have here points negative 1 and positive 5, positive 1 and positive 3, and positive 4 and positive, uh, positive 5 and positive 4. So, first, we're going to substitute negative 1 and positive 5 sa ating inequality, this one. So, y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 3. This is our original in, uh, equation, di ba? So, inequality, yung symbol natin. So, substitute the value of y, which is 5, the value of x, which is negative 1, then simplify. The result is 5 is greater than or equal to positive 4. So, true, di ba? 5 is greater than or equal to positive 4. Then, for the next point, we have your positive 1 and positive 3, substitute sa ating inequality. The resulting, the result is 3 is greater than or equal to Positive 2. So, it's true. Diba? It satisfies the inequality. Then, for the third point, is ganito po yun. Substitute, nat substitute natin sa ating inequality. So, the result is 4 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Diba? Which is true. So, it means that our points are part of the solution of our inequality because it satisfies the inequality. So, since our points is located on the upper half plane, then we're going to shade the upper half plane. So, ibig sabihin ito, lahat ng points na nabilos upper half planes are part of the solution or satisfies with our inequality. And the lower half plane is not the solution or hindi po siya mag-satisfy sa ating inequality. So, lahat ng points sa, sa lower half planes, hindi po siya mag-satisfy sa ating inequality. Okay, so for our lesson 3, problems involving linear inequalities to variables. So, linear inequalities can be used to solve real-world applications. So, for example, we have here a word problem. Anthony has a job as an appliance salesman. He earns a commission of 600 pesos for each washing machine he sells. And, okay, so 600 pesos for each washing machine he sells and 800 pesos for each refrigerator he sells. He needs to earn a commission of at least of at least 10,000 pesos. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve that one and the first question is what mathematical statement represents the commission that Anthony needs to earn? So we're going to identify the variables. So we will let W number of washing machines Anthony sells. Okay? Then we will let R number of refrigerators Anthony sells. So, write an inequality to represent the commission that Anthony needs to earn. So, yung commission sa washing machine is 600. So, therefore, 600 times W, which is the number of washing machines, plus, since for the whole month, so plus 800, by the commission ni Anthony, if he sells a refrigerator, which is R, so times the number of refrigerators Anthony sells, then greater than or equal to 10 thousand pesos. Okay, bakit greater than or equal to? Because at least, okay, okay at least, so, dapat hindi po siya bababa ng 10,000. So, pwede siyang equal or greater than. Okay, so, greater than or equal to 10,000. So, this is now our equation. So, 600 times W with number of washing machine Anthony sales plus 800 times R number of refrigerators Anthony sales is greater than or equal to 10 thousand and for letter b if anthony was able to sell six washing machines what could be the least number of refrigerators that he needs to sell to reach the commission of at least ten thousand so kapag uh merong anim na washing machine na mabenta ni anthony ilan kayang refrigerator na pwedeng mabenta niya para maabot niya yung 10,000 na commission at least 10,000. So, our equation is 600W plus 800R is greater than or equal to 10,000. So, 6 washing machines. We're going to substitute this one sa ating W. So, nagiging 600 times 6 plus 800R greater than or equal to 10,000. Simplify. 600 times 6, 3,600 plus 800R greater than or equal to 10,000. Then, separate natin yung my variable. Diba? Meron tayong 800R. So, using the property quality, we will add both sides by negative 
3,600 para makansil yung 3,600 sa left parts at mabilis at, at maiwan si 800R. Tapos sa kabila, 10,000 minus 3,600. Diba? So, magiging ganito na yung equation natin. 800R is greater than or equal to 10,000 minus 3,600. Simplify, 800R is greater than or equal to 6,400. Then, using the property quality, we will divide both sides by 800 para yung variable R na yung maiwan. So, magiging R is greater than or equal to 6,400 divided by 800. The result is R is greater than or equal to 8. Dapat makapagbenta si Anthony ng at least 8 refrigerators or more. Okay? So, pwede siyang more than 8 refrigerators or equal to 8 refrigerators. Okay? Di ba? R is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, so the least number of refrigerators that Anthony needs to sell is 8 pieces to earn a commission of at least 10,000. So, 8 or more. Okay, so that's for our quarter 2, module 1, linear inequalities into variables. And once again, this is Teacher Koy of Easy Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.